I'm Adil Kumar sharing with you a difficult question on limits of trigonometric functions. The question here is to evaluate limit when x approaches pi by 4 for 2 minus secant squared x divided by cos x minus sin x. Now in such questions, if I substitute x equals to pi by 4, I get 0 over 0 form. Let me show you that part first. So if I substitute pi by 4, what do I get? I get 2 minus secant square pi by 4 divided by cos pi by 4 minus sine pi by 4, right? Now that is 2 minus square root 2 whole square and this is 1 over square root 2 minus 1 over square root 2. So that is clearly 0 over 0. So that is the indeterminate form. Now we need to simplify and solve. That is one way. Second is you could always apply Lee Hospital's rules. The other method is to apply L'Hopital's rule. Okay. So in such questions, whenever you have cos x minus sine x, it's a good idea to rationalize. And uh, secant could be written as one over cos. So that should help us to simplify this particular expression. So we could write this as limit x approaches pi by 4. So you would write numerator as 1 over, I mean 2 minus 1 over cos square x, that is secant square x, divided by we have cos x minus sine x. And what are we going to do? Rationalize. That is to say, will multiply and divide by cos x plus sin x. Correct. Now, denominator will be cos square x minus sin square x. Let me rewrite that. Okay. As far as numerator is concerned, we can take cos square x common, so it gets multiplied by 2, so we get 2 cos square x minus 1 divided by cos square x. This is the first part, and then everything is getting multiplied by cos x plus sin x divided by the difference of squares, cos square x minus sin square. I hope that is clear, right? You may have to review some of your trigonometric identities to really solve this. Okay, let's continue. We have limit x approaches pi by 4. Now I could write this cos square x in the denominator. We have 2 cos square x minus 1 in the numerator. Now how do I solve that part? 2 cos square x minus 1 in the numerator. Okay, now here we have uh, cos square x minus sine square x that could be written as cos 2x, right? And this could also be written as cos 2x. Okay, so 2 cos square x minus 1 could be written as cos 2x. So I'm writing that part as cos 2x divided by cos square x. So this term could come in the denominator. So I'll kind of write like this. And this is cos square x. Is it okay? So I've taken care of the first term. Now this is getting multiplied by cos x plus sin x. And here we have cos square x minus sin square x, which is also cos 2x. Well, let's review. Okay. Cos 2x. Well, let me write down here. Cos 2x is actually equals to cos square cos square x minus sine square x. If I write sine square x as 1 minus cos square x, what do I get? 1 minus cos square x. In that case, I do get 2 cos square x minus 1. Do you see that? So this is this part. So I wrote that as cos 2x. Is that clear to you? And this cos square x minus this has been written as cos 2x. All right. So that's kind of review of your trigonometric identities. Now I can cancel this off. Is it okay? 
So once you cancel it, it's, it's simpler, right? So now you can substitute pi by 4 here, right? So what you get here is cos pi by 4 plus sine pi by 4 divided by, this is cos square pi by 4. Okay, so cos pi by 4 is 1 over square root 2 plus sine pi by 4 is 1 over square root 2 and square of 1 over square root 2. That's what you get. So here it is 2 over square root 2. 1 plus 1 is 2. 2 over square root 2 divided by all this. Let me write divided by. Uh, square will be half, correct? Half. Which could be written as, so that is to say 2 over square root 2 times 2, which is 4 over square root 2. Is that okay? So 4 over square root 2 could be written as an answer or you could rationalize which is 4 over square root 2 times square root 2 over square root 2 which is 4 times square root 2 over 2 which is 2 square root 2. So the answer is 2 square root 2. Let me write down here is 2 square root 2. So a lot of uh, you know trigonometric identities involved in solving this question they're not that difficult this is a very common rule which will be used in most of the trigonometric identities so remember this part that uh, cos 2x could be written as 2 cos square x minus 1 and if i would have written cos square x as 1 minus sine square x this could also be written as 1 minus 2 sine square x we'll apply this formula also in solving some limits for trigonometric functions. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope this helps you to review a few concepts and get solution to such complicated question. And I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.